Time to liven up the joint. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video, we got a huge unboxing on the way. Um, we are unboxing tons of DC Multiverse. We haven't unboxed a lot of DC Multiverse in a while. So these last two videos have been close to home because we've been mainly built this channel off of DC Multiverse action figures. Um, you know, because I'm a huge DC fan. Um, and it's not that I haven't been getting out of the line. It's more of the fact that there hasn't really been anything out there that I personally like, uh, especially with all the Jokerized stuff. And I know I'm kind of uh, beating a dead horse about it, but that is true. I do not like the Jokerized anything uh, when it comes down to McFarlane toys. So I'm happy that we got some of these. Now I do have an issue with... Uh, these collector edition action figures that are coming out uh which is one of them which is firestorm uh i like the figure get rid of this this little dc stand with for the card get rid of that stuff i really don't want that because that is bumping up the price on, on these action figures and this is 30 bucks 30 bucks for a freaking action figure i am not liking that uh uh, honestly, I wish Todd would probably <coughs> sell these for twenty five, because his other, the other regular versions are nineteen, nine. No, no, nineteen. I, mean, I wish they were still nineteen ninety nine. The other ones are like twenty two bucks. So, um, the the little stand that says DC on it, adding ten more dollars to this, or eight more dollars if you want to be Pacific, um, or really like ten because of tax and all that. So like, um. You know, adding that really messes it up. Um, but we are going to be unboxing Firestorm as well as Hawkman as well. Now, I know they are the Chase versions out there as well, which I have been hunting for. I have zero luck on finding those Chase versions. I believe they're probably like one per store. And um, I'm going out there and searching, searching, searching. I can't find them anywhere, which is unfortunate. But I am still trying to hunt them down because the um, color version is it's it's amazing when it comes down to Hawkman. Um, here is the back, and look how dope that cover is! Like, or the back art is so freaking cool. I love it. Um, Hawkman as well, um, and then probably one of my favorite characters, uh, villains, as I say, is uh, this is a regular version of Brainiac, which is freaking amazing. Can't wait to get into Rainier. This is the Injustice 2 version of him. Um, so there's that. Brainiac, one of the coolest villains in DC as well. And then last but not least, we're going to be unboxing. It is the Yellow Sinestro. Now there is a green Sinestro out there as well. Big Bad Toy Store has one on their site. But they're charging 50 bucks for that bad boy. And I'm not about to pay 50 bucks for... Um, a regular DC multiverse figure um, especially when it's just a different color so uh, even though I like the green version obviously this is the Green Lantern version of Sinestro before he turns crazy um, and gets corrupted by the by the by the ring but um, I'm fine with the yellow version if we can't find the green version because that is the Sinestro I know and love. But anyways, let's go ahead and get straight into this unboxing as well. So probably start off with Firestorm, work our way to Hawkman, uh, then Brainiac, and then Sinestro. So let's go ahead and get straight into this boxing. But before we get to this unboxing, I want to see if you can leave a like on this video, subscribe. If you guys haven't already, we are well on our way to 400 subscribers, but we're really close. But I need you guys to help me get there. I appreciate all of my subscribers, you guys are freaking awesome. Even the people who just watch this video, I appreciate every single person who watches this video. Click on this video as well as leave a like. You guys are freaking awesome. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get straight into this unboxing. Okay, guys, so when you take Fire you Storm out of packaging, this is what he looks like. And I gotta say, this figure looks freaking amazing i love the fire effects it's kind of it gives off this reddish yellowish vibe to it it's so freaking good now i do gotta say though it kind of doesn't look like it's attached to the hand 
it kind of looks like he like ho is holding it which is kind of a little bit weird but i still like it i think it looks freaking awesome as well it kind of something different from todd because todd you don't normally don't see these type of hands so honestly if i get these type of hands with or, or these type of effects with with the uh, collector's editions and paying the extra like eight bucks uh i would take like different heads as well like give me a mean head um give me a uh just like something different you know um and i would 100 percent be accustomed to buying these collector's editions especially like two of them right like with the chase or whatever give us like a uh blue flame head as well like that would be freaking awesome but or just like blue effect hands as well um like the possibilities is endless um but anyways so um even though i don't even know if todd would do that but anyways you know he has this classic look i just love firestorm he is really really powerful as well um but i love like his classic like design as well uh, you know, he does the goldish torso uh, with the um, straps with a little bit of red in it as well. Red red uh, tights as well as goldish boots looking freaking awesome. And then look at his head scalp. Like the eyes, always love the white eyes on it on characters as well. But that's a clean looking head scalp. And the hair as well. Here's the back of the head. Um, like... That is super clean, especially for a cheaper figure. Like, this is really, really good. Um, but I freaking love it. Anyways, though, he do have more effects, so we could take a look at that. As well as all sorts of different hands that doesn't have any effects on them. Um, so let's go ahead and check out more uh, effects and show off more characters. Okay, so here's another effect. So say, for instance, you want to do two Fire Fists. You could have um you could have two of them which is super super cool i love that todd added that as well as kind of like the flame is uh different from the right hand and the left hand so super cool i love that as well um it was a really nice addition especially to the flame effect but probably this next one is probably my favorite one so let's go ahead and show that off Okay, I kind of take that back. I'm going to say favorite, but uh, <laughs> I think this one's cool as well. You know, I got these three little ball, flame, flame balls that you can throw. So I think that's actually super, super cool as well. So you got all these different flame options you could use as well. I'm probably going to go ahead and use two fire, uh, fire flame hands because uh, I think that looks pretty cool. But like I said, you got so many dope options. So now let's go ahead and take a look at um i don't know who's next we'll take a look at somebody probably do uh hawkman let's take a look at hawkman okay guys so when you take hawkman out of packaging this is what he looks like and i gotta say i love todd's design of hawkman um i mean it's so freaking good <laughs> you know i love like the the chest hair added on to it even though it's not real hair uh, but it looks like it I love, always love Hawkman's logo. Got the hawk on the front. Super, super cool. The helmet is absolutely freaking badass. Yeah, it looks like real gold. Um, I love the white eyes on characters, like I said before. And then here, right here, he, you know, he got a, a, this cool looking gauntlet as well. And this is kind of like his um, newer design, I would say. Um, but not that newer. Um, you know, he has the dark blue pants as well as the belt, a little gold on the belt. And going down to the legs is the bottom of the foot. And then here is the back with the long hair as well as here is the feathers or the wings that plug in. So super, super cool. We're definitely going to show him off with the wings. And then he does come with his classic mace as well. But he does have a closed fist, which I love the punching fist. This was an open hand to grip the mace. So I love that. Super dope combo. Um, I think Todd is actually listening to your boy. <laughs> oh, man, I wish he listened to me. Um, Todd, you should listen to me more um, because uh, I know what's best for your line, basically. And then here is 
the cool looking card absolutely freaking love it. i love this the design on the card super super cool i don't really show off the cards too much because um everybody that knows me and follows this channel knows that i don't like destroying the boxes um and to uh to pull out the cards you gotta destroy it but here is the cards if you guys want to pause it and read it um you get some information on hawkman himself so now let's go take a look at how he looks with the mace and the wing okay guys okay, so that is how hawkman looks with the wings and the mace i think he looks freaking phenomenal man this figure is man are so good i love the recent figures like these figures have been so good as of late um and just it just adds so much to it and if I get my hands on the chase, it's going to be even better because it has the classic colors to it. So, I mean, you're going to try to find it in stores. And if push comes to shove, I am going to buy it on eBay. But I'm trying to avoid paying premium prices for the chase. Um, but if it comes down to it, I might have to. Anyways, though, let's go ahead and get straight into Brainiac. And then we'll end it off with Sinestro. So let's go ahead and, and and show those off. Okay, guys. So when you take Brainiac out of packaging, this is what he looks like. And I got to say, I like this figure. The only thing I would say, though, is I kind of wish he had, like, a meaner look to him. Uh, instead of kind of, like, this evil smirk that he kind of has to him. But that everything else looks pretty good. I love, um, you know... It's Brainiac, so he has these, like, uh, I don't even know what you call them. Like, telekinesis helmet or whatever. Um, as well, he does come with a closed fist and an open gripping hand. So, I like that as well. Um, and then going all the way down, he has the suit of his armor, um, which looks freaking amazing. You know, has these pinkish, um, I don't know what you call that. <laughs> but anyways, though, you know, going all the way down to his big gigantic boot. Um, and then here is the back. Obviously, he has the back for all the tentacles. So we're going to put that on to show off Brainiac in his true form. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, guys, so this is how he looked with the tentacles on. And then, he, you know, he has the gripping ones, which we can get up close on that one. Uh, the thing about these tentacles, they're not really like, I wish they had a kind of some type of bendy wire installed in them uh, because I want to get them perfectly. These are way too loose and you're not going to get them perfectly uh, to stand which way, whichever way you would want him to as well. And then he has the pointy ones that, uh, you know, he injects you with this and then sends you off towards his ship um, where he stores you and uh take your powers but super super cool love it um it's it's brainiac guys like come on um but anyways though that is pretty much it when it comes down to brainiac um let's go ahead and show off a cool clip of brainiac so hope you guys enjoyed it as well and then we'll wrap up with sinestro your father's research drew me to krypton now I'm going to avenge him. You shall suffer his fate. Begin. This ends. You cannot kill me.
Okay, guys, so last but not least here is Sinestro, and I gotta say this Sinestro is absolutely freaking badass. First of all, the color to him is what I love, the pinkish face that he has to it, just the expression on him, really rare from Todd to give him like a really blink of uh, expression. Um, well, not blink, but more like a, uh, I don't know how to explain it, but I just like the uh, expression, especially because, like I said, on the Brainiac, you know, he has a smirk or whatever, but this one's kind of like a plainish look to him that it doesn't look like he's smiling or pissed off. So I absolutely freaking love this. So, it, you know, you can match him up against um, a Green Lantern as well. And speaking of Lantern, he has a Yellow Lantern. Obviously, because he is a yellow lantern, so super, super cool. We definitely need more yellow lanterns because we need more villains as well. And then he has the already attached yellow ring hand, so super, super cool. So this is most likely how I'm going to be displaying my Sinestro anyways. Um, but he does have another cool effect as well, which uh, we can show off right now. Hold up. Um, which is this kind of like gripping claw um, effect, um, which is a, a really cool effect. You know, it has the gripping claw, which I think is pretty cool. I think it attaches right here towards the middle. So I, I like this effect as well, especially going to use him in a fighting pose. You can use this as well, have it look like he's throwing it out and getting ready to catch uh, a Green Lantern um, um in whatever you know so super super cool but anyways though speaking of catching green lanterns let's go ahead and show off sinestro uh cool clips i hope you guys enjoyed that as well let's go ahead and wrap this bad boy up after that you will know the meaning of fear <laughs> fully charged begin You're outclassed here. You will die, Scream. <laughs> so huge. Okay, guys, this is pretty much it. That's all I got for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did enjoy this, please consider liking and subscribing. Helps the channel out tremendously. Keeps me motivated. Keep doing more unboxings just like this one. Um, by the way, I should mention that Todd that he is about to release one, one of the most hypest figures, at least right now, I should say, for, um, for, for the channel. And that is my boy. This is what I named myself after this man and that is the main man himself lobo and not only that we're getting uh a dog as well and his motorcycle oh my god like that is so wild to me you know your boy gonna have to pre-order too and if he would have threw in a space dolphin as well in there i would have went crazy but yeah i gotta temper myself because you know, it, it is a DC multiverse figure, but oh my freaking God. Um, I freaking, I'm so hyped for that. 
Um, anyways, I can't wait to get my hand in that bad boy. Uh, um, if you don't want to miss any of those unboxings, as well as one just like the, the uh, unboxings we just unboxed on this channel, don't forget to hit that bell so you don't miss any of those unboxings, as well as subscribe. Um, because we're well on our way to 400 subscribers, but I need you guys to help me get there. I appreciate every single person who does. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Stay tuned for the next unboxing because you never know what's going to be unboxed on the channel. We definitely got more things on the way. Also, you want to follow me on my Instagram. I have a link in the description down below because we are doing some unboxings that I'm not going to do videos on. But we're going to be, like, showing off, like, a um ace like my boy ace from one piece um uh, i was debating whether to do a video on it but the figure's old um and i saw him i couldn't believe i saw him in in target i was like oh my god that's an ace figure just sitting on the rack so i, I couldn't believe it as well um we're definitely gonna try to get our hands on other ones but um i mean it is a anime hero so i'm not sure if you guys want to see that um because they're not really the best looking figures, but they got Shank, they got Law on there, as well as Chopper. I saw an Usopp, as well as Brock, as well. Like, oh my god, that's insane. And not only that, we are also going to be unboxing on my Instagram uh, Marvel's Blade. I was debating whether to put these in the video, but I would have been like, oh, these videos probably going to be way too long anyways so i decided not to but i will be unboxing them not unboxing them but showing them off on my instagram if you don't have my instagram it's down in the description down below highly suggest follow me on there as well as um leaving me a dm or even commenting i talk with a lot of people on there so if you really want to talk get my thoughts or or even just like just talk in general you can find me on my instagram it's down in the description down below but anyways that's pretty much it that's all i got for you guys today you guys have a wonderful amazing day and see you guys later they don't call me the main man for nothing